Okay, so um, this is going to be, I think, the last or perhaps penultimate video of our initial Wix binge. Uh, I'm sure that you're very aware that there's a lot of stuff that we haven't done, um, but this is going to be a work in progress throughout the year. Um, and as you have more final pieces to put into the sections called writing, video and podcasts, then we're um, going to be building up our site and getting it looking more professional. However, um, I did want to just finish off by showing you how to make some basic changes. We start with the template and obviously one thing you'll have noticed is that your name is not K Griffith. Griff, I cannot say that word. K Griff, Griffith. Good grief. Um, so editing stuff when you're in the editor mode is really, really easy. If you've gotten a little bit lost by the way and you can't work out how to get back into it, uh, simply click on uh, Wix icon or the home page and then go to edit site and that will take you into a editor mode, Wix website editor. So you'll end up looking at something like this. So most of these elements we can just delete or change very easily. So up here where it says Kate Griffith, I think I nailed that first time there, I can change that. So it just says John Simpson journalism really nice and easy. If I want to make it longer, I can. Just dragging a box around. I can change the height of this gap here. Um, I can get rid of this thing that says news on the coursework page because I don't need it. I can shorten that off. So straight away, we're hitting into a blog. Um, Basically, it's incredibly easy and simple to move stuff around and delete it, which is great. Um, any of the pages that I want to edit, it's always going to be the same. So if I, for example, from my pages menu here, go down to about, um, there's a biography that I can edit quite simply. And we'll obviously be working on that over the course of the year. So. As long as you're on the editor page, it's just really, really simple to modify and change existing elements. Um, always use your pages menu here to get to the page you want to edit, and then just click on stuff to format it slightly differently. Uh, even with the text here, for example, I can change it, change the size of it. I can obviously change the font of it etc etc um, remember that control z tip it's a really really important one so that's how you make some basic changes and i think i will make one last video just on how to actually change the colors and themes of your website